Hello, my name is Aaron Balky, and today I'm going to be showing you my appointment management system built in Java using JavaFX that uh, connects to an SQL database to store all of the appointment and customer information. The documentation for this application and all of the source code is available on GitHub in the description if you want to check it out. The uh, application, here's a little preview of it. Uh, it is built in JavaFX and it does store user information, customer information, appointment information, all of that good stuff in a MySQL database running locally on this machine. For the login page here, we do have some little things such as the local time zone being displayed at the bottom. Uh, we do have the ability to change the language between English and French while maintaining functionality. So we could change this to French, for example, and uh, it does maintain the functionality and it does change the error messages on the login page to the language uh, specified. So uh, if I type a incorrect uh, login here, it will give a error message in French. Uh, but to switch back to English so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> your information is logged, so the login time and if the attempt was successful or not. And that information is stored in a text file with the program. So I you know test and test is a good login. When you log in, there is a informational uh, pop-up that says there's either no upcoming appointments or it will let you know there's an appointment upcoming in the next 15 minutes. You can okay that. This will list out all of the appointments in the SQL database and all of their information. From here, you are able to add, modify, or delete a selected appointment. So if we want to add an appointment, we come here. We're able to fill out all this information. There is data validation and error checking involved uh, when you hit save. For example, it will check that dates entered are in dates formats, uh, so it will make sure it's month, day, year. The start and end times will require them to be uh, in hour and minute times, in, uh, in uh, military time, excuse me. <laughs> and these numerical values will be checked to be numerical. The other aspect is it will check their, the prompt had a specific set of business hours in UTC, and so the start times and end times will have to fit within those. They also cannot collide with already scheduled appointments. So that's how the add appointment page works. The modify appointment page is pretty much identical. You just need to select a appointment and go modify. It will autofill all of that information and then you're able to modify it and save it. Uh, and you are able to delete appointments directly from this page. Uh, before deleting, it will give a warning about the file being deleted. Hit OK. And it will be deleted from the SQL database. There is also a appointment reports tab here that provides four different report types. Uh, we can choose to look at the appointments by the contact involved. So. Uh, it looks like the one we do have. It looks like the one we do still have is uh, for Lee. We can also do it by type. So the only one available is planning session since we only have one appointment, and then we can choose by month or day if we so desire. In addition to that, we're able to view the appointments by week or month, and then we can also view all of the customers in the SQL database. And then we are able to add, modify, and delete customer information as well from the SQL database. This is all completed through the Java connector to MySQL. And everything is just queries back and forth between uh, the SQL database and the Java connector. And when you are done, you can log out, all that good stuff, and exit. This application does follow MVC design patterns, so we do have a model, controller, and view available in the GitHub for you to check out. I have also included the Java docs as well. And that should do it for this application. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to help, and have a good one.